Uh, hello guys, uh, Magic Skill Modeling uh, speaking, uh, Nicholas and, uh, and Richard. So, welcome into, into the lab. What we have in front of us is a prototype for the uh, TBM Avenger 132 scale from uh, Trumpeteer. So, uh, it has been programmed, the sound is on, is on board and uh, it will start very, very, very soon. But we'll have an issue here because, look at this. As you can see, the engine is not really reactive, and it should, it should be. Now we start slowly, okay, but in fact too late. We have lost all kind of subtlety. I mean, in the in the in the in the code, and why? Um, just because the propeller is not well balanced. Look at this. The you see there is one blade which is marked. This is the lighter. From the uh, from the old blades, so you will see that the weight always bring that one back in the air. Once again, so we see clearly that this blade here is uh, more heavier than the other one. So in the reality, we'll have to make this one uh, more uh, in balance, which means that we'll have to remove some weight. But just for the sake of the demonstration. We will add some weight now to the light to the blade, as you can see, this is just, you know, some kind of uh, pasta, you know, that we are pushing, just putting in place. And so now the balance should be better, even if the propeller will be heavier, uh, that should be okay. So let's start the program again. Uh, this is the uh, ignition uh, sound, just to tell you that the circuit board is alive. Now the, um, the program is lighting the, uh, the dashboard and in sequence will light the, um, the navigation light and so on and so on. And then we'll start the engine. Remember the engine was not really reactive due to the fact that, it was that the propeller was completely out of balance. Look at this now. Same code, no modification. Just the propeller now is really well balanced. Just to tell you, this is very, very important subject. So we'll come intensively about this in, uh, in another video. But please pay attention to this. One of the easy points, you know, one of the easy ways to uh, check your, um, your propeller would be to have it, instead of working vertically like it's doing now, to have it horizontally. So now the engine, as uh, the um, the plane has been put vertically, and so the uh, propeller will uh, work horizontally, and we have removed the the weight, so we are completely out of balance again. So let's see how the propeller will react once uh, it will be actioned by the engine. Normally it should be okay because we don't have the problem of the weight of the balance at least is um, is solved. Look at this. So it's working pretty well. So we'll do exactly the same thing now, going horizon, uh, vertically, and we'll be, we'll be in trouble. So really, really important, check your uh, propeller and be very, very attentive when you will create, whenever you have to assemble the propeller. Try to have the same amount of glue, try to have the same length, try to save, uh, to have everything in balance. And if not, we'll have to address this. Okay, how can we address this physically now, uh, speaking? Okay, let's go. Um, once again, you know that we have identified the lighter, uh, the lighter um, uh, blade by uh, that uh, drawing over there. So, demonstration. We just push gently. So, you put your propeller on the engine and you just move it gently till the moment you lose the control here. And this is where we go. So now we know that this blade is the most heavier. So what we'll do now is just to sand it. We'll remove some uh, weight, I mean, from there, till the moment we'll have the same weight from that one. Uh, we have precision balance, but we couldn't identify the way really to measure and to weight with some digital value. I mean, how many we have to, to put in there. The only way we have identified was the weight that Nicholas has put on the blade, okay? Uh, the additional weight that Nicholas has put on the blade, you know, to know. And this is more or less what we need to get out of the, um, what we need to get out 
of the uh, uh, the uh, propeller, which is in this case oh zero. That's not uh, that's not quite a lot. So it's not it's not really a, 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 a big work. But okay, let's try to do this. So we'll try now to send to send uh, something. So Nicola will take the um, the yeah the uh, the phone. Let's remove this, and we know that this is the Avis blade. So I would like to save the front uh, view, and we'll work on the other side. So let me try to send some uh, weight out of this. Not easy to do that in front of the camera, but let 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 let, 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 let me try. This is in any way the way to go. Of course, we will try not to change the shape of the um, of, of the bread, but as you can see, I've already removed some. I don't know if it, this is enough. I suppose not. So I'll take some more, and we'll see what will be the outcome of uh, of this. Don't be seasick by watching what I'm doing. Uh, I can maybe continue out of the camera. Okay, let's have a look. So the lighter is um, sorry the lighter down and so let's have a look now what's going on see it's already better look at this look at this still slight hesitation but I think that we can have a trial so remember outside of balance we were in trouble so maybe we can try now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. still, 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 still some weight. Let's try again. Look, it goes again down. So I will remove some more. Okay, so um, as you can see, we have sanded somehow not too much, and be really careful. I mean, because you don't want to put it again uh, uh, out of balance. You you just work slowly, you know, and you make your trials. Uh, from what we have removed now, I hope that it will be uh, okay. So let's have a new a, a new a new trial. So just connect the uh, the propeller again. Yeah, here we, here, here we go. Look here slowly. Okay, I'm doing the same test as what we've done before. And you see that it seems that we do have the control from beginning to... Uh, uh, uh. Maybe, maybe still a little bit out of balance. Maybe. We, 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 we'll see this. Fine, anyway, there's a way to go. So let's wait for the, uh, for the engine to start. Come on, engine. And here we go. Not perfect, huh? So there is still some work to do. Okay, back to the uh, back to the Sunday. Okay, uh, new attempt. Once again, there is no way. I mean, to uh, to to measure with exactitude, or at least no way that we know about it. If you have anyway, we would like to 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 know. This looks a little bit better. Look at this. We keep the control on the rotation. Um, okay, let's have a let's have a trial power on so you see i don't remove that much but you have to be careful because the balance is free it's not easy i mean to reach but on the other hand it's easy to break as well those propellers have never been designed i mean by trumpety for example to be a uh, working ones and that's a little bit the problem and it's even worse when you have to assemble the propeller by yourself because there you have to be very very careful on the other hand you're under control look at this not perfect yet, but far better. In any way, you get the concept. This is the way to go. So we will continue for this uh, for this prototype. I mean to get it, but this is definitely the work to be done. So whenever I mean the um, the engine would not react according, would not be in perfect synchronization with the uh, with the engine. First thing you do is to connect your propeller and to have the engine vertically to have your propeller to run horizontally. And if there it works, it's clearly a problem of uh, balance. So for the rest, you just take your stand stick and you just play with this. So, um, thanks for watching guys and uh, yeah, enjoy it.